Hey everyone, I'm Jeffrey and this is Busy Being Terrible. So welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk about how to set up NVIDIA Surround if you're like me and you have different monitors. So I have three monitors. They're all 2560 by 1440, but they're different brands and they have different refresh rates. So the Dell monitor here is a 144Hz G-Sync monitor. This VG27B is an Asus 144Hz FreeSync monitor. And this HP ZR2740W is a really old um, 60 hertz IPS monitor. If you try to enable NVIDIA Surround with these three monitors, and you do a 1x3 configuration, it will only give you this max resolution, 1920 by 480 even though all three of these are 2560 by 1440 monitors, and they all can operate at 60 hertz. So I'm gonna give you a solution to get around this. Close this for now. So to get around, we need to go to this website. It's called entechtaiwan.com, and we wanna download this utility called Monitor Asset Manager, or Moninfo. Let's click here to download, save the file, and install it. Click yes when it pops up, click next, agree to the software, and there you go. So what this software does is it will let you overwrite the INI information about your monitor so that Windows will understand your monitors behave differently than they, than they should do. So wait just a minute for the software to open. And this is a free software for home and private personal use. If you're in a business enterprise, this is paid software and you need to get a license. So here's the software open. So we can see my different monitors here. Three monitors are connected real time. So here's the Asus monitor, VG27B. Here's the Dell monitor, S2716DG, and the HP monitor. So what I'm going to do is take a copy of the Dell info and apply it for the HP monitor. And when I do that, all three monitors to Windows and NVIDIA appear that they can support now the same resolution and same refresh rate and NVIDIA surround will work. So what I do is create an INF file from this and I'm going to call it Dell.inf, save, I save that just here on my desktop. Now to apply this, you need to reboot Windows into the startup options and do not enforce driver signing because this INF file will not be signed. And I'm going to manually apply this to the HP monitor. To reboot in the way we need, you need to go open the settings, go to update and security, go to recovery and choose advanced startup restart now. Once your computer comes back up, you want to choose Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then Startup Settings. This shows you some of the things this is used for and you need to restart to get there. And now we want to choose number seven, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. Now that you're back in the computer, uh, you started up with Driver Signature Enforcement disabled. What you need to do is open up Device Manager and you have your file here ready. So go to the monitor that's giving you a problem. In my case, it's the HP monitor. Go to properties, driver, update driver, browse for drivers. Let me pick from a list. Say I have the disk, browse for the file, and here go to your file. So mine's on my, on my desktop, the file called Dell INF. There we go. Okay, it'll warn you this is not digitally signed, right? Because this was created by the Moninfo program. If you don't reboot Windows in this way, it won't let you do this. Next, to install this driver, I'm getting a pop-up here. I wanna install this driver anyway, because this is something I'm intentionally doing. Okay, now that's been installed. So my HP monitor now essentially is a copy of my Dell monitor. So you can see this is my real Dell monitor, this is my fake Dell monitor, which is the HP one. Okay, so once you've done this now, reboot the computer back into Windows normally, and we'll set up 
NVIDIA surround again. Okay, now we're back into Windows and we open up NVIDIA control panel again. Now if you see my monitors, my VG27B is still here and I have two Dell S2716DGs, but only one of them is really the monitor because it's G-Sync capable. The other monitor is only capable of 60 hertz. It claims 85 here, but that really doesn't work. Um, and it doesn't have G-Sync. So now if we go back into surround, we can configure this with the proper resolution we want. So we do one by three. And we now have our choice of the resolution, 7680 by 1440 at 60 hertz. In my case, I need a 25 pixel bezel on both sides for my setup. And we can enable surround and this will work properly. So here just to show you my monitors at 7680 by 1440, that's with surround enabled. So I made this as a tutorial and I hope it helps you if you're having the same issue as I was. If it doesn't work, just uninstall the monitor and device manager and Windows will put back the default driver. This should be very safe to do, but I'm not liable if it causes you any trouble. In a future video, I'll share a way to quickly turn Nvidia surround on and off and keep your monitors configured properly. Thanks for watching. Stay terrible out there.